let's talk about the recent Snapdragon 870 release. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And a few days back, Qualcomm decided to release a new 8 series. Sorry, forget the word new. Let's let's try this one more time. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And a few days back, Qualcomm released the Snapdragon 870 5G mobile platform chip. I made a YouTube community tab post about it, mentioning that the 870 might power the upcoming Poco F2 and those of you who are confused with Xiaomi's naming convention, as per them, the Poco F2 Pro is not the successor of the Poco F1. Most of the peeps out there, rest of the world is waiting for the Poco F2 and one of their country heads from India has already confirmed that the Poco F2 will not have a 732G, which means the Poco F2 exists. Anyways. Going back to the topic that my community tab post on YouTube about the POCO F2 should it be powered by the Snapdragon 870 and a lot of you think that it's not possible it's going to make the device expensive well for starters days of a rupees 21,000 flagship device I think they are over it's very difficult to do it in this age with the Snapdragon 888 now coming back to the 870 what is this 870 a lot of people think that the 870 is like the younger brother of say triple eight or snapdragon 888 well that my dear friends is not the case the snapdragon 870 qualcomm should have called it say snapdragon 865 plus plus or if that is confusing call it Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Pro and if even that is confusing call it Snapdragon 866 and I'll tell you why this is because the only difference the only difference between the 865 plus and the 870 is that the main core which is your Cortex A877 core on the 870 is clocked at 3.2 gigahertz the same core on the 865 plus is clocked at 3.09 gigahertz so you can also go ahead and say that the 870 is just an overclocked version of the 865 plus because that is what Qualcomm is doing over here and to give you some brief background in the good old days you could actually overclock the cpu with a custom kernel but guess what in the last few years qualcomm decided to stop that or to block that not stop but to block it so with a custom kernel you can no longer overclock the cpu you can only overclock it with Qualcomm's specific tools and that's what they're doing over here. They have overclocked the 865 plus and selling it as the 870. So all the devices which are going to come out with the 870, right? The Motorola's, the Xiaomi's, the Oppo's, the OnePlus's, you are getting last year's chip which has been overclocked. That's what you are getting, which is why it's going to be cheaper as compared to Snapdragon 888. This is last year's chip which has been overclocked. Qualcomm already has the assembly line in place. The modem is external. All those things are already there. They have been producing this chip for almost a year now. So they have figured out all the minute details, right? Which is why it is also kind of misleading. People think that, oh, we have 888 then you have 870 870 might be a tad bit slower than say the 888 when in actual it's going to be just a tad bit 
faster than the 865 plus because the 888 is using the 5 nanometer manufacturing process and this 870 is using the 7 nanometer process and another thing in favor of the 888 is that it has a higher GPU frequency by almost 30% everything is new the Antutu scores are up by 16% now me personally I don't believe in benchmark numbers for real life usage but yes the 888 is around 700k and the 865 plus is at 600k's I mean 870 in my humble opinion is just a way to get rid of the old inventory and make people think that oh we are buying an 8 series I mean in actual you are buying an 8 series but it is last year's chip do note that the 865 plus and the 870 the modem is external the 5g modem which they have to use is a separate chip the 888 on the other hand has the 5g chip integrated so yes the 870 is going to be let's say good for the end user because you might get a good deal on last year's processor qualcomm might support it for longer but my whole point of making this video is that do not think that 870 is a tad bit slower than 888 it is just a tad bit faster than the 865 plus do not fall for this misleading naming convention by qualcomm which i think is very shady and my opinion is that they are doing all this because they are afraid of mediatek they are just afraid of how mediatek is coming up and how their 5g chips are performing so that's why they are trying to you know repackage the 865 plus up the frequency a little and that too because you have blocked custom kernel developers from overclocking the cpu so that you can do it and then sell it as an enhanced chip just to fool the end user but the end user needs to be knowledgeable enough so that they know what they are buying and what they are getting and that's it peeps that was all about our discussion for the snapdragon 870 the repackaged overclocked 865 plus and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you